And you know, the thing about it, you know, spent years, years developing, trying out different new decades, over a decade, man, trying to figure out different sounds and what sounds are the best, you know? And I was so pissed when I found out that you can literally just, and I'm like a lot of people mad here. A lot of drummers are upset here, you know? Drummers and the producers are on two solely different pages a lot of the times, unless you are a drummer that is a producer, you know? And a lot of times, those are the ones that really make some really good sounds, you know? But when you start adding samples to your mix, it's gonna bring your drum sound, your mix, to another level, a whole nother level. And you can do this in a way that where you can still add feel, and you can add it where it's not feeling so repetition. I'm not gonna lie to you, I do hate this because I do want to sell you drums. I do want to sell you drums and that's what sells drums, you know. It really is a big seller on that, but it's a to but at the same time, I also want to add you value and I want to tell you the truth. I mean, you look at how the world's going. I mean, even like DW, this is a percussion company, drum company, get bought out by digital drums. Us drummers, you know, we're kind of set in our ways and we don't want to change anything. Show you kind of in depth kind of what a sample is and how to go about implementing these samples into your next project, how easy it really is. We're gonna fix to go into the DAW here. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go create a project and use a couple samples and show you kind of, we're gonna create a project from scratch um, and we're gonna implement them with some samples. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna upload a new audio track. Um, go to that little plus icon, click audio. I've already did that. So there, there's the audio track. We're gonna have two of them going. Um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a drum track. We're gonna get a drummer. We're gonna get a drummer in there. All right, now <clears throat> this is they're gonna ask you. You know, you want a rock style drum, R and B, electronic. You want kind of like a hips kind of style. It just really depends. I mean, a lot of um, let's just go something different. Let's go to a create. Okay, here we go. We're inside the DAW here. That's just basically so let's kind of mix up a little bit. Let's go to like a. Um, it's like a new kick, maybe go uh, medium. And this is where you can kind of file, really fine tune what kind of drum sound that you're after. You know, what kind of drum sound are you after? All right, so if you like that, go ahead and extend it on out. Let's go ahead and start creating a loop, you know, just kind of just in case you kind of get that little because right now I'm just kind of focus on this first like 10 seconds of the song here and see if it's anything that's going to catch okay now let's put in an audio track here all right um we're going to go to um new we're going to add um we're going to add an um, instrument Okay, what type of instrument are you after? Yeah, okay, well, let's just let's just mess around here for a second. What are we feeling like? Um, Cause I go at this kind of looking at different ways sometimes. Um, how about a French horn? Let me show you how you do this on the keyboard. Now look, all you're doing right here on the keyboard that's your keyboard. This is where you add on the keyboard here. So as you bring this down, the notes are going to be different. So you need to know that. Now, but a lot of times when you press like three buttons at the time, like this right here, that's a chord. So and it just it just works just like that. It really does. And it's got a whole lot of room for error margin. So let's just... um. Let's just create something here. You know, if you want to create like a, just a, um, and what I'll do normally if I'm, when I'm recording, I'm going to freestyle it for a minute. Like I'm going to record for about probably 15 seconds of just random stuff. And then I'm going to go kind of clean out what I come up with. So I'm not really sure what it's going to be. So here we go. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of a slow gig. Uh, 
Well, let's just say I can't figure it out. I'm not in the mood right now. I'm not really liking that at all. I just want to use a sample. I just want to use a sample. I'm going to use somebody else's kind of, they did all the math for me and figured it all out. <laughs> okay, so on your other side of your wall, you're going to go to right here where it says uh, the little button right there, whatever that is. It's your files button. Um, click on your file. And just uh, and if you have a sample pack download, you're just gonna grab it and drop it in here. So um, the only so let's just grab anything and just push throw it in. Boom! There it is, right there. It already created a new track and everything. Look at it. Boom. All right, so yeah, so you can get that, and it's like you got another one, just drop a progression in there. Um, you know, so what we're doing right now, we are building the song out. So, <clears throat> but you say, okay, that's pretty simple. I want to be able to change it up. Okay, look, go into it like this right here. And go And really, really what you want to do here is just kind of go in, and you can take stuff here out. You can bring stuff in. You can kind of go in there and make it your own. You know what I mean? really kind of start um bringing stuff over a little bit more maybe take, taking some stuff out you know and just kind of spice put your own feel to it. these are kind of just kind of almost it's like training wheels this is like training wheels for sure the big dogs don't do so Let's do this. Now we're gonna grab this same track here and we're gonna do we're gonna open up a wholly totally different another track here. We're gonna put a different let's see how it sounds with a different instrument. The same exact thing with a different instrument. I'm dying to use this French horn for some reason. Okay, let's do it. Alright, literally just press it down, press option and drag. Boom, there it is. Now let's see. Um, I don't like the French horn. I don't. Let's change it up. Uh, what you think, Max? What you thinking, boy? What are you thinking? Max is over here just chilling. Um, put some strings on it. Um, I'm at a bass. Let's see how that happens. Let's go into this bass track here. Let's take, click on it. We're gonna really, we're gonna kind of go in here and we're gonna really make it sound like it's ours. I'm gonna take a lot of this stuff here out. Okay, I'm gonna shorten this loop up here so it's just working the first couple measures of this. I don't want to go all the way over. We're gonna work just a little bit at a time. Yeah. <laughs> this one out here. All right. I'm going to take this here. I'm just hearing a little bit of um, zoom in a little bit closer. We can really get in here close. There we go. There we go.
Now, okay, typically you probably this kind of this song is gonna not really want need a probably a snare sample in it. It really don't. But let's just say I want to put one in it anyhow. This is kind of it's real mellow. All right, let me just show you. So you go to your files here. Go to um. Basically, you just go to wherever the files is. It's my desktop. Um. Got it where it says Yellow Beach Drum. Let's use this bad boy. Uh -huh, which one do I want? Um, boom. I want that low one on this. I do want the low one. Just drag it on here. All right. I like bringing that right beside the snare here so I can kind of see exactly where it's going to be happening. And probably that snare is going to be about, right about there. Let's see. All right, there it is again. All right, so I'm going to put this snare there. I'm just showing you how to implement a sample. Stop it right there where it needs to be stopped at. Then you just literally press option drag. Boom. There it is again. Now, if I want to just continue that on out. All right, this panel is getting on my nerves. Let's get out of here. Okay. All right. You got this little button that says turn loop on. There you go automatically in time all the way down now if i want to go in there and take some stuff out I totally can all right so Once you got a few of these kind of made up, you can actually kind of zoom back out right here and just copy the whole thing. Press option and you can just drag it. And then literally you can um, have it as long as you want to have it. Okay, so now I want to isolate this snare drum track here. I want to solo this track. All right. Now we're going to just kind of fine tune that snare for a second. I'm going, to, I'm going to do some fun stuff with it. So, <clears throat> right off the rip, I'm going to just go ahead and need a little bit of reverb. Probably just a touch of reverb. Um, let's put some reverb in it. I love reverb, man. I mean, gives it uh, gives it just a full round sound on it. Yeah, that's what you want. You want those notes to be very distinct when you hit them. And that's totally it. I like it. Now, around with it. See if we want to do to it. I mean, I can make it sound however I want to make it sound. I can. I want to crisp it up. I want to make it drier. Um, however you want to make it sound, you can. So 
to be honest, I think I'm just going to leave it just like it is. A little reverb. That's all I want to put on. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. You can reverse it. You can, you know, you hit the button right here. You can actually, you can turn it backwards. Watch. You can go where it says, um, transpose it. You can tune it up. We can tune it down. Look, man, there is a lot of things you can do on, you can reverse it. Check this out. Reverse the track. You know, if I want to. All right, let's reverse it and just kind of put it right there to the end of it. Like, almost kind of like it come into. All right, a little bit of a fade kind of adding on to it. All right, if you want to put a little fade to it, all you do is just click this button right here where it says, just go down to the fade tool. And you just fade this bad, fade it to where it kind of comes in easy. You know. It's all about, man, because they say that the first few seconds of a song. Okay, I mean, all right, I kind of like that. Now, so say you want to add that effect into the additional ones. Um, what you're going to do is um, turn your pointer selector back on. Just go to option and drag and just kind of put them together like that. I'm not going to get that creative, but I just want to show you how easy, I just want to show you how easy it is to implement your samples into um, Logic and just kind of have fun with it, literally grab and drop. There's hundreds of videos on how to do this stuff. I mean, there is hundreds. Just Google it. This is just grabbing and dropping and just kind of showing you kind of what a sample is. And samples are just basically little cuts of music, you know, like this, these are samples. And they repeat on different bars, you know. I just want to encourage you to maybe try some samples. And if you want to try to buy some samples, we have some that we just started to release. We have new sample packs that are available that have fully the, these raw samples that are collected and that are gathered. And they're one of a kind. They're one of a kind of some of the snare drums that I've built over the past decade of building custom drums. This is not to try to take away from the vibe. This is not to try to say there's no heart in there. So I get it. I understand that. But here's the thing. In the end of the day, you know, when somebody listens to that track, you know, you want it to be as clean and as good as you possibly can, right? So I'm going to tell you, samples, if you have a, a public, a samples is, you know, it's a good way to be able to get your music um, sounding very clean and crisp and clear and being able to use utilize that in a way. It was just like what I just did is just grab a drummer, put him in there, and then just start putting my stuff on top of his playing. And then I was able to actually even, I'm not playing the drums. I'm actually, I am playing the drums, but I'm putting my stuff on his notes. And then you can start move, moving around with the timing a little bit. You can switch stuff out, take stuff in, but samples... If you haven't tried samples, man, they are they're they're fun and it's it's owned by every computer. Just I mean, you'd be surprised at probably the music you can create. And then but people are like, oh man, that's cheesy, dude. That's cheesy. And I'm just like, shut up. Shut up, man. Shut up. Everything everything's cheesy to somebody. <laughs> it is.